Right, part, part two. The invasion of the, grand, the six year old grandson. In full muddy football gear. Right, okay, so let's, uh, let's put in a bit of a, ba bit of a background. Uh, oh no, I need to put another tree in. Show a bit of distance in these. So it's just a bluey, bluey colour there. I might bring some of that sky back in there. I'll let that dry off a bit. Now I'm doing a nice flash of. Mix greens with the black. Go to watch your yellow first, and and mix that. If you mix yellow into black, you'll still you'll stay or well, tend to stay black. And overlap everything here. Just rough. Huh? Bit of bluey green. In the shadow. Right, let's uh, get in with some uh, nice foliage. Some light coming in there now. All right, I want to get some uh, different bit of green in here now, just to break up that. With that, uh, those trees on the right, I just want to bring in some of the cloud into there. There's no no focal point yet. It's been here somewhere, but uh, I want to 
you can always use. Oh, this needs to be. Oh, yes, you big. Uh, you can always use knives and just to add a bit of sparkle to, to a painting. Because especially when, they, when this dries off, you, it'll hit and miss. So you can get some nice. It's a nice, nice effect with the light just, just catching over, over that. You, but of course you can overdo this, and which I've just done. Okay, we'll let that go. I'm concentrating more on a painting rather than. Little portrait of any particular thing. I'm going to put in a uh, bit of uh, trunk. I just did that in a bit of black. Do for that. No detail in the, the opposite ones, but just maybe just a little bit of bit of light. Now, what can we put on the horizon other than a, a tree? Double than that building. Well, let's just put a tiny bit of a tree, bit of a tree in there. Bit of, bit of blue. Okay, that's a bit of uh, calligraphy in that foreground. Now I'm going to put that in a in a frame now. But when you, if you do this, make sure your equipment is free of paint, otherwise it'll end up on the frame. And then I'll, I'll just do some more stuff in it on the, in the frame and we'll see where we're going. It's fairly dry now. So there we have a very simple landscape. Uh, I, th I think the, the knife works. It's just adds a little bit of, I don't know, just to say quiet, let's put a bit of red in there. Let's warm it up a little bit. Just a flash. Right, okay, just that, that bit of red just gives it a little bit of a lift. It doesn't say very much, but, but there we are, it's a very, very quick, uh, maybe just a little bit of, bit more, uh, just, just some, 
some bits and pieces. I'll sign that. Right, there we go. Uh, I'll bring that round just a bit, the camera. Got an automatic focus now. So I'll zoom in and you can have a look at what I've done. Now I've got to upload two videos now. So there we are. Just have a look at that. Catching the light. Woods of trees and some distant trees. Uh, yeah, well that's 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 fine. It's, it's a very simple one. I encourage you to have a go. But don't, but don't try to make a rod for your own back by trying to do too much. Keep it simple. I know I've had a lot of experience and, and I haven't just taken up painting. I've done it for years and, and I do the best I can. Um, but I always find that these sort of types of painting attracts me. I like looking at them. I, like, I have friends that paint better than that. But it's a demonstration and, and there's plenty of movement in the sky and all over, this, over the landscape. It's a windy, bright, summery day. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Goodbye.